Hi, everyone. I'm about to be... Yell at me again! Okay, so... Jesus Christ. I can't get away from everyone. So I literally just locked humans at my house. I realized that yesterday and today's video are both going to make me seem like a terrible pet parent. So I felt like I needed to put this disclaimer here. And that is that I'm not a bad pet parent. <laughs> Ghost is well-trained. Will is well-trained. Mostly, she's slower than Ghost. And I spent thousands of dollars on Willow to get her legs fixed. So I talked about how Ghost doesn't like children in yesterday's video. I never had the chance to really socialize him with children. He still has only ever come in contact with like four or five kids his entire life. And that's just how it is. We're not around kids a lot. So he never really got socialized around them. He's never bit at a kid or growled at a kid. He usually just gets stiffened up and I really hate it because I know what he's doing. If anyone of you know pet personalities or, you know, social functions, like he just gets real stiff and doesn't like what's happening. So it's my bad for not getting him around kids enough, but it happens. I don't plan on having children, so I'm not exactly worried about it, but I know that for the sake of others, I should have socialized him, and that is all on me. <sighs> so what happened today, my exercise video for today, is that Willow ran off. And Shiba Inus are known for running off, but she's never, ever run off like this. So, we were all outside, just sitting, talking, hanging out since it's a warm day today. And she was playing with Possum, and Ghost was just sitting on the porch, and then all of a sudden, she was gone. And we didn't know where she went, so we called for her. Kinda took longer than normal. And I realized that something's up, so we decided to start walking and looking around for her. After about 20 minutes, I started getting very extremely concerned and kind of had anxiety issues there for a minute and called my mom and told her what was going on and texted my best friend and kind of calmed down a little bit, but not really because my mom is not helpful in stressful situations like that. So we walked for a good half hour, maybe 40 minutes, looking for this little dog that we could not find, that I spent so much money getting fixed and making sure she's okay, that I just could not believe that somehow in five minutes she had just disappeared and wasn't returning. <sighs> and that was probably the most stressful, like, 30 minutes I've had in a long time. So, we're looking and looking. I talk to the neighbors. I walk up and down the street. I'm shaking a treat bag like an idiot. And all of a sudden, she just comes running from the neighbor's house don't know what she was doing. I know the neighbor likes to feed our dogs. He's really cool. We live on a dead-end street. See, this is why I'm saying that it makes me look like I'm a bad pet owner. Is my dog ran off. Oh, why don't you, why wasn't she on a leash? Why wasn't she tied up? Blah, blah, blah. We live on a dead-end road. All of everyone on this road knows each other. And we all have dogs that are loose on this road. And I know it sounds terrible and not safe, but... It's just a dirt road in the middle of nowhere, and if you're in this kind of situation like I am, then you understand what it's like. If you're from a more populated area, you might not understand this at all, but it happens. Sometimes you just live on a dead-end back road, you're far from the highway or any sort of road at all, and your dogs are just free to roam. <laughs> um, I do want to get a fence, but I'm not... I don't make enough income to get a fence. So 
when that happens, I will actually get a fence because I've wanted one for a while. Just because I don't like my dogs just going over to the neighbors and like possibly getting into trash and stuff. So <sighs> today was a stressful day, but I think that uh, looking for Willow for 30 minutes uh, was my exercise. And that's what I'm considering exercise, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> it was very stressful, and it's all okay now. Willow is not currently microchipped, considering she's only nine months old, so she hasn't gotten spayed yet because of time frame, you know, with everything going on, and because she's still young, so I haven't really gone to get those two things done yet, and yeah, it makes me look like a bad pet owner, but if any of you know me, obviously I'm not a bad pet owner. My dogs are inside every night. They get brushed practically every day. They get groomed all the time because I have a fluffy dog and then she's kind of fluffy. So I'm taking care of my animals. You can see they don't have overgrown nails. They have healthy teeth. I get them pretty okay food. Can't afford the, you know, $70 stuff, but I get them the best food that I can find. And I feel like I shouldn't have to defend myself, but I am. I hope you guys have a nice night and I hope you don't have to go through anything stressful. At least on top of everything else going on.